Hi there, my name is Isaac Oster, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about uh, read topology and Z remesher. There's a couple things that I want to uh, mention quickly uh, about the subtool menu here, as well as a little button up here that's pretty useful. So what we need to do is create a low poly mesh that we can then use uh, to do the UVs on and bake a normal map onto and, and texture, and, and that will be what goes into the game. What we're going to do is actually, when we click on the surface, we're going to be creating points. And the surface doesn't need to be visible for you to move it, but if it's not visible, that vert is not going to stick to the surface. So if you tweak something and the surface is, is hidden using Solo, all you need to do is grab it and move it back and it'll in immediately snap back to the surface if if you need to. So what you can see about this geometry is it's more or less evenly spaced. It follows the edge flow. Now what I have here is a triangle there and then a couple of generations up another triangle. So it, whenever I see that I rejoice because it means that I don't actually need either one of those triangles. I can very easily just come in and connect them. You're going to need more geometry in the fingers than you are in the palm and you're going to need more geometry in the palm a little bit than you are in the wrist. So you want to do these kinds of uh, edge terminations here. Let me just go ahead and give this my new mesh one, one uh, subdivision. So I'll go to geometry and hit divide. Hotkey for that is control D. And then I'm going to just click the project all button. So you can see the result, it's taking the low poly mesh and snapping it to the surface of the high poly mesh. So now when I hit project all, that is something that you are very likely to see. And the reason that this happens is because the uh, mesh that you're modifying is significantly different than your high poly. And if you're making a game res mesh, you pretty much got to do it this way. I mean, I, th the thing that I'm about to show you is good. So this mesh is a little bit denser than the uh, the, the handmade retop, obviously, but it still has a phenomenal edge flow, and you can actually tweak the values. So if I wanted to be lower uh, uh, lower poly count, so there you go. That's retopology and Z remesher.